YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Yes, College Football 25 is here. Team Builder is here. It's finally back. Eh, however, though, but let me break down the Riverside Bulldogs real quick. All right, so we're in the Sun Belt Division this, this year, right? We took Old Dominion out, and we're putting the Bulldogs in. With this Team Builder stuff, I'm happy it's back. I'm looking forward to it, but now I'm getting to, to play with it. What you're seeing right here is literally what it just came out. So it was all buggy, and yet I'm out here looking, having an idea of what I want to do with my team, with the scheme I want to have. Um, and yet, when I did, I realized I still messed up. But it is what it is. I ain't really tripping on it. But with the Team Builder stuff, this year you are limited compared to what it was in, you know, in 14, 13, and or, you know, back then. Rosters. The rosters you cannot change via on the website. You can't edit. You can't edit names. The only thing you can edit is numbers, height and weight, and you have to search for the skin tone and what the face looks like. That is it. I can't change. I had to go in game and edit the player like that. Once that's in the game, I can't change skin tone. It's what the game did with all these deals and stuff like that. It's what's gonna happen. So we had to make. We had to make do. However, with recruits this year, looks like it's a possibility that if you know if you are a white cornerback, if I can get one in the in the recruit, maybe it's a year from then or the following year, you'll be on the team. You know that's that's how it is. I, I gotta find them, <laughs> and if you're good, you're you know I have to get. You. I can't edit I can't edit ratings. You know what I mean? Because it's all skill pointed out. So. I'll try to make the best I can for you guys. I'll try to find the best players to recruit to make you guys in the team. But if if, if that we can't do it and you know it feels like I'm not like I'm not really feeling it, we'll probably just keep it a regular, you know, dynasty or not. And I'll probably bring bring back uh, NCO6 for the guys. Cause to me, I feel like it's not fair for y'all. This is a custom team build, this is what I wanted to do because of NCAA 6 to have you guys involved. And I feel like I really can't, doesn't really, doesn't really feel, it doesn't feel right for me and it doesn't feel right for y'all. With that being said though, listen, we're going to make do. We're going to have some fun out here, okay? We are, we are the, probably the worst team in the Sun Belt Division, okay? We got, you're going to see this roster and go, damn, that's some shit. But hey, it is what it is. We ball at the end of the day. So sit back, relax, stay tuned, and see the Bulldogs be going from dog shit to a dynasty let's go it's go time go time look at that big ass logo dude all right so and also too team builder is is on one this year because everything is to the cloud or to the ea server so I, I, you can't do team builder offline so oh my god holy shit golden xp with the five gifties let's go Come on! All right, we're gonna take a look at the roster right now. Um, as you see, our highest overall is an 84. Oof. So, I unfortunately didn't submit a player next. Oh yeah, you're good, bro. Don't don't listen, man. You can't edit. You can't edit their skin tone at all. So, whoever we recruit somebody, gotta be whatever correct skin tone you are because it's gonna be rough. So, like this was all on. It was just rough. I was on Team Builder on the website. I had to legit. Oh my god, it was so terrible. I had to literally match up the players I want with the skin tone. So when I go into the game, I can edit the name and, and I can do my gear. And then I messed up one. Um, so I think he was supposed to be light skinned. He's dark. So I was like, oof. You know, you got a tan. You know, at the end of the day, you just got a nice tan. But at this point, man, it, it's it's a little rough. I want to go to the quarterbacks here. Let's start off at the beginning. Uh, these are not the depth chart. It just goes by overall. So we're just gonna go, you know, overall here. So Kendall Mason, the junior. Oh, and also too, let y'all know, I didn't really touch like some of the players. I didn't. I just kept the the school because we're gonna have a lot of try to rec uh, recruit a lot of people as well too. So I mean, we have like one, mainly maybe f total of like ten seniors, but I think some of them are not even custom. I think I know one I did on accident. But um, I, I mean, regardless, it's all it's all fine. Wait, changing them? Do you sign them on the team builder? Yeah, you have to on team builder. You have to do the number, and then when you go in the game, you can't edit them. Yes, I'm telling you, I I'm I'm aware of what I'm seeing right now. Kendall Mason, quarterback, junior, five five, one eighty. 
Yes. I don't know if he skipped a year in high school, but uh, or four years. He's here. Uh, you got Michael Vick Jr. Jr. Uh, left-handed, 6'2", 194. As you see, you got he's got speed though. He's got speed, but he he's 69 overall. <laughs> nice. Uh, you got Joey Williams. I believe that's another left-handed quarterback. As you see right there, 6'3", 225, field general. And then another left quarterback, <laughs> Jerron, Jerron Harrison, 6'2", 225. We have three lefties, and our right quarter, right-handed quarterback is 5'5". Five five. So, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be struggling right here. All right, so and running backs, you got Cody Peppers, 5'10", 200 pound freshman, 92 speed, Deason Weeson out there. Uh, you got Jay Collins. Uh, 5'11", 235, junior. Uh, you got Derry Sanders. Somehow, some way, he's on here. I may have wanted to make him a junior, but I messed up. But he's a senior, and there's a lot of hate between this guy because I saw a lot of pity in the previous SJU. Somebody liked this guy and uh, decided to do it. Uh, does channel points rules still apply when we give the sub? Can we? No, you can't. You can't upgrade players in this game. I can't even edit rosters. That's why I took them off on the channel points. So I gotta figure out a way what we can do. But if not, I made the only thing I legit made was a thing called instant starter. So if your player is not starting, you can use channel points to you know just to boost them up to, or not boost them up to to start. So it's it's a struggle, dude. It's really. It's kind of ass, but I'm trying my best to see what I can do for you guys to be involved. But, I mean, you know, worst case scenario, we can just make another dynasty with a regular team. And then the recruits we do, we can recruit the recruits like that. We can just edit names. But, I mean, for for a creator type, a little tough. It's a little, it's a little tough. So, I do apologize. I really do because it sucks because I, I mean... You know, because I want to play. We have a college, new college football game, and we can, we're very limited what we can do, especially from playing. You know, oh six. So, but we'll we'll make it work. If not, listen. If you guys want to, you know, play oh six and continue that as well, I don't mind because a lot of people did like it, but people also wanted to continue this to you know to uh, college football twenty five, and as you can see, we're very limited. But I mean, listen. We'll, we'll make it work though, at the end of the day. But you know, I, I, I rock with y'all if y'all want to do 06 as well too. So, But however, let's get to it. I want to play college football 25 right now though. All right, we got Darius Sanders out the way. Uh, Keandre Woodside, 5'10", 225. Um, not too bad. Even though their overalls are ass, there's some, pro there's some, there's some promise here. Uh, Dre Sean uh, McGee, running back 5'10", 220. Uh, let's see here. Fullbacks we don't have. That's not a fullback here. Uh, Trey Hunter. Uh, we six two one ninety. He's got some good uh, attributes. He's got double dip layout and recoup. Uh, Carrington Mitchell six two two twenty five. Um, let's see here. layout. Not bad. Uh, Ashton Watson. Ashton Watson six two one eighty. A lot of six two guys here. Uh, six three, Ricky Bobby. Got two first names. Uh, hopefully he likes to go fast. Uh, Kevin Gordon, Gordon, six one one seventy five. Uh, we got Joe Capo, five eleven one seventy five. You got D uh, Day Hawkins, six two one ninety, and then you got Tobias Jackson, six one one eighty nine. Uh, as you see here, like the like I said, the the uh, the receiving classes. A little shaky here. Uh, right here, you got Victor Von Doom, 6'7", 240. Uh, Jordan Ellis, uh, 6'5", 335. Uh, you got Cooper Boham, 6'5", 240. And you got Jimmy Wilson here, 6'4", 235. And you got Aaron Dwinman. Dwinman. <laughs> I think I said it right. 6'3", 240. Uh, pretty decent, tall tight end class, but... You know, we got to, it's going to be a little rough here. I believe we have two left tackles made. Uh, we got Patrick Harrison, 6'5", 325. And I believe that's a, yeah, that's not a custom. And that's not a, we got a Bus Gibbert, 6'8", 370. He also is a backup left tackle. 
You got two freshmen here, so most likely one of this one of the guys are gonna be leaving, especially the offensive line. They'll probably move somewhere else. Uh Chauncey Richards is a, is a custom here. 6'3, 357. Dude's a pot. He's got the pocket shield physical. Looks like an absolute tank. Uh on center here, we got Tyler Latolis. Oh, he's gonna kick my ass. I butchered the hell out of the name. Latolas. <laughs> That's terrible. But he's back in the game from SJU. There is a couple people from SJU. If you remember, if you do see, remember. Um, you know, we'll pick them out too as well. But um, what else here? Uh, we got uh, Brandy Gonzalez here. 6'6", six, 3'04". Six, three, uh, Straight monster out here. Like I said, man, these this team is is in the, is rough. All right? It, it is rough here. Uh, we got Lennox Lurie. 6'4", 225. He's a pass protector. Um, that's pretty much the offensive line because a lot of people really listen. People don't like, like to put their hand in the dirt, you know, when they want to make a custom guy. So the fact that we had like at least a starting line is is not bad here. Oh, uh, <laughs> defensive ends on the left side. You got uh, Devonte Mello, six four two eighty. Uh, you got Miggy the Beast, six six two seventy two. Uh, what's out here? Uh, you got Cyrus Frofenhofer. Uh, he's from one of um. SJU, I believe, as well. 6'4", 266. Uh, like you look at these overalls, man. It, it is it is rough. Uh, Darrell DeLorean, 6'5", 285. Uh, Luke Clusterman. I, be, I believe this is the guy uh, that... Yeah, he just looks like he's got a nice tan. He, he wanted to be light. I mean, you like the sun. You know, you got a little bit of... You know, got a little sun in you. Um, let's see right here. Uh, Goaded Mark, I believe this is their custom one as well. And then 6'4", 272. Coming at, at a 56 overall. Hell yeah, brother. Let's lock in. D tackles. You got Omar Boots and Askies. 6'8, 360, uh, 336. Uh, looks like an absolute tank here. Then you got Brandon Lynch. Uh, D tackle. 6'8, 400 pounds. It's a boy thick. Anywho, uh, left side linebackers. You got Bubba Freeman. 6'8, 285. Uh, you got Kai Felix. Kai Felix. <laughs> uh, Felix Dollarson, six foot two fifteen. Uh, Kwai Osama, uh, six two two fifteen. And I believe that's it for the left side. Yeah. Uh, Billy the Kid, middle linebacker, six two two thirty. Uh, Eric Scott, six one two ten. And then you got Terrell Holmes, five eleven three thirty five. And I believe. This one's a fake too, but Levante Jacobs, 6'2", 225. Yeah, kind of, he looks like some shit. All right, you got Perk Nowinski, 6'3", 230. Uh, then you got coming around here, I believe the other end is Pass Rush Limbaugh, 6'6", 245. I mean, these linebackers don't, they, I hope the ratings don't fool us, you know. They're, hopefully they, they play well in here. Uh, Demon Time is back, 6'4", 205. Uh, you got DJ Walker, 5'11", 190. I believe he's going to, uh, yeah, Demon Town's got blanket coverage and quick jump. So hopefully that will play in the factor on silver. Uh, DJ Walker, like I said, the 5'11", 190. He's got to wrap up a quick jump. Uh, Jalen Dawson, 6'2", 185. Yep. <laughs> uh, 6'2", 185. And he's got gold quick jump, too, which is pretty tough. Uh, Akron Jones, 5'11", 185. Uh, Cadillac Jones, 6'3", 220. He's got this quick jump on silver. Uh, Yuri Prawley, 6'2", 180. And you got Darius McDub, 6'3", 205. And I believe this is a cut, not a custom one. Zachary Bloom, 6'2", 172. Uh, let's see. Free safeties here. You got uh, Clashes, Clashes Black Jr. He's got ball hawk on silver. He's 6'3", 210. Uh, Sonny Mayo. He's got, uh, I believe that is bronze hammer. On bronze, yeah, bronze is yeah, it bronze? Hammer? Looks like it. yeah, six foot one eighty. Uh, Jordan Spears, six three one ninety eight. And you got Eli Jones, six three one seventy three. Uh, free safeties. A O K dot is here, six three two zero five. He's got bronze ball hawk. A uh, Chad Tr uh, Tracy, uh, six one three thirty. And I believe that Leo Levels is not. But there it is, Leo level. Definitely not a recruit. All right, uh, kicking. We didn't touch kicking. Um, I believe someone in Discord was looking for make make one too as well. So, I mean, whatever y'all want, we'll think of somebody. But for now, listen, 
I mean, I couldn't. No one made a kicker at the time, so I'll probably after stream we'll probably just redo one. So, but I mean, that's the team, man. It's a one-star team in the Sun Belt Division, and uh, man, it's gonna be rough. But hey, we're gonna have some fun here. Michael Vick Jr. is gonna be our QB one. Uh, running back number one will be Cody Peppers with Derry Sanders in the back. Uh, with Jay Collins at Keandre Woodside as I burp. So, like I said, Woodside and Collins will be the backup fullbacks because I think we might be running uh, Army or Arizona. I think a little, a little bit of Army, you can have a lot of running backs in the background, too. So, Trey Hunter, uh, Mitchell Jr., and uh, am I missing somebody? I put him here. Hold on. I wanted to put... All right, that's why Jordan Ellis will be our tight end number one. Behind will be Victor uh, Von Doom. Uh, left tackle, I think I have uh, I have Sam Settle because he's a senior and he's one of our he's got he's he's our only hope on there too. So uh, as well as uh, um, uh, Tory McGlynn, he's a senior, he's 84 overall. We need all the overalls we can get. So uh, let's see. Yeah, Chauncey Richards there will be his, there as well, and then uh, Lennox Lure will be our right tackle too. So because we we are struggling, Cyrus will be on the left side for the right end. Uh, right end will be uh, uh, Terrell Delorean. D tackles will like I said will be boots boots and boots and Askey with Brandon Lynch. They'll be our one and two on D tackle. Left side of the ball will be Bubba Freeman. Um, middle linebacker will be Billy the Kid with Eric Scott. Uh, right outside linebacker will be Tyson Tatum Windham. Now I did have Perk here, but we'll, I mean we probably have some subs anyway. Plus he's got quick jump, so that might help us too. Um, DJ Walker will be our CB one with Cadillac Jones at two. Deep in time in the slot, uh, Akron Jones there as well with uh, Jalen Dawson. So hopefully th these guys can be dogs because deep in time was a struggle, but I mean. He's the only one that's with 80 overall, so we'll see. Uh, Sonny May will be your uh, full sa free safety, number one. Behind it will be uh, Clashes Black Jr. Uh, behind also, too, will be Jordan Spears. So, I mean, there's a lot of subs out here, too, I think. So we'll, we'll have a chance to play as well. AOK Dot will be uh, free safety, or excuse me, strong safety, number one. Behind it will be Chad Tracy with Jordan Spears. So you'll be seeing probably Jordan around the ball a lot, too, as well, so. Hopefully he ball out, and then the kickers there as well. Uh, did I change kickoffs? Yeah, I did. I made I made Yuri Parley and Ricky Bobby kickoff return. Um, third down running back will be Derry Sanders, obviously. Um, uh, power back will be Derry Sanders as well. Slot receiver. I mean, that's all. Some chairs. because yeah, I believe we took Old Dominion out of the conference and got their stuff. So I'm assuming the only thing I changed uh, is I think I had a one one team. But here's the lineup. This is our only TV game. Our only one. All right. And it's week one. South Carolina at 330 televised. That is East Carolina. That is Virginia Tech. That is a bye week. Then we're at Florida, at Coastal Carolina, at Georgia State. And we come back home to Texas, uh, Texas State, Jordan Southern, Appalachian State. Then we have a bye week. Then a robbery. James Madison will be there November 16th. And then Marshall. And then Arkansas State. So, <clears throat> it's going to be a struggle bus, man. It's going to be a struggle bus. We're, we're here to have fun out here. Ivan Trovi, Ali Gordon, Shudder, uh, perfect time. And he's got that. Uh, Quishon Jen Junkins there as well. Travis Hunter and also Carson Beck. Do you see, see these guys in the future, though? Do you see you guys legit as Heisman Trophies this year for college football? All right, top 25. Feels good to say this again. All right, once again, you got the media. Uh, Georgia, Ohio State, Texas, Oregon, Ole Miss, Alabama. You know what? At this point, I'm not watching. <laughs> 
We're not gonna care, dude. We're in the Sun Belt Conference. Why do we care? I never talked to them boys that sat on them benches, man. I was in the game on fourth and inches. Coach, put me in the game on fourth and inches. And I'ma leave them boys at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I see them boys all behind.